What's going on, Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. We're back with another roster review, and we're on that part of the list that's in my Discord. Link is always in the description where people are getting to their second roster review. And this I really enjoy because I like to see the progression that you've taken in the game. We all grind in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, so I like to see what path people have taken and just try to give some tips. So I love the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes world. Now I start to get tunnel vision when I do these videos, so if anyone has any tips, any comments, definitely comment down below. I do enjoy Star Wars Galaxy Heroes banter. All right, so the link to his original show will be in the description. Highly recommend you check it out because it's so weird. This is when, back before Capital Games made the change, where I was telling him who you relic is really important. The more relic tunes you had, the more um, harder it made your opponent, but it's totally changed now. So he only had gas. He only had, uh, as far as like uh, ships, he only had negotiate at five stars. Uh, he has CLS, but no Jedi Knight Revan, no Darth Revan, no Galactic Legend. So let's see his journey in the game and see if we can give any tips. All right, guys, let's go to the wall. All right. So you see his name. It's just Dan, <laughs> plain and simple. He's in Yologans. That sounds pretty cool. But he's in Carbonite 1. So I'm going to go ahead and roast you there, Dan. Your roster is way too good to be in Carbonite 1. Let's give him some tips. So, of course, Dan, just prepare for the next jumps. You're probably going to jump to, like, Bronzium 3, maybe even Bronzium 1, depending how well you do. So if anyone that's in, uh, that's watching this show, if you guys are in Bronzium or Chromium, definitely comment below. You know, let him know what he's going to start facing. You know, I'm in Kyber 3, so I'm not sure what people are putting on defense at those levels, especially in Carbonite 1. All right. So, of course, we'll take a look at his fleet first. Last time we looked at his fleet, he only had Negotiator at five stars. Okay, see so he's got Negotiator, he finished it off. So everyone has like Admiral Radis, you know, Profundity. They have Executor nowadays, Le Le Liathan, whatever that ship's called. So everyone forgets about the grind just for Negotiator and Malevolence. That's a disgusting grind. So good job there. You got 2.8 million Galactic Power. R8 General Kenobi, R7 Malevolence with General Grievous. Good job. Show me your regular ships. Last time, he barely had any ships. Typical ships you see up top. He didn't have any of the pilotless effers. If anyone's watching that show, what does effers mean? I can't cuss, so I hate them. They're long grinds. We got to get them. You got to get them. He only has Vulture Droid. Wow. Of course, fleet's important. Do I work on fleet? Heck no. I enjoy beating people in Kyber 3 that have triple my fleet. I have the hottest trash fleet in all of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. But of course, it's very pertinent for your roster. You know, if you don't want to have to put a super heavy defense down and have more fun in Grand Arena, you got to build a fleet. This is now also where we get all crystals from. So, of course, fleet is important, but I just don't care about it. All right, look at Jedi Master Kenobi. Great job there. You got Gas, Anakin. So you're taking off like three teams in Grand Arena, so you definitely not do that in Grand Arena. Let's get in there and take a look. Definitely got to get some new music. This background music is terrible. All right, so Galactic Power, 2.8 million. Good job, Dan. So you gained about 1 million more Galactic Power, is it? Yes, about 1 million more Galactic Power. So I'm not sure if you're a casual player, but I'm not sure if grinding for a Galactic Legend just took it out of you, but good job with Jedi Master Kenobi. Now, you don't have Cat. He's hot trash without Cat, I know. It took me forever to get Cat. I was stuck on one shard forever. <laughs> so good job with Cat, um, Jedi Master Kenobi. Your problems were the Mirror Match are over, Lord Vader, Jabba, C, Ray. I don't say I don't say SLKR because I use JKR or JKL to take an SLKR. So great job with your first Galactic Legend. Make sure you definitely get Cat. As a recommendation for your next Galactic Legend, I always recommend SLKR because of the fleet behind him in Finalizer to take out Executor, which you will always see on defense if you're not seeing it now. Sometimes people get Executor as their first uh, Galactic Legend. I call it a Galactic Legend because it's, it's kind of what it is. All right. So, of course, I'm trying to do these roster views differently. We're going to do like a core Talk about your core, like JKR, Darth Revan, CLS. So everyone out there has these squads. So definitely comment down below. All right. So, of course, 
We'll take a look at speed. Speed is the way of the game. It is a game inside of the game. I forgot who said that, but that's awesome. All right, so of course, you got Darth Vader as your first fastest non-galactic legend, exactly where he should be, especially at your galactic power. Speed 331, perfect. Good, bot. Good job. With Talon, 351, if you have Talon. So of course, we always gotta put him, if you're putting him on defense, he's gotta be super fast. You gotta pay attention to your opponent's roster. Make sure they don't have an Aura Sing, Boss Led, Zamos, or Omicron. Darth Revan could have a billion damage, is why I'm not looking at it. It doesn't matter. Speed is the only importance with Darth Revan. All right, who's your next? Well, this piece kind of put me to sleep. This is called the uh, Gamers Lounge. Kind of loungy. How fast is your Rex? 325. Good job. At your galactic power, that's where you should be. Super fast. I hit him super fast when I was coming up. 325 is good. You're five speed, speed, five speed faster than me. Good job there. All right. What else you got? Jedi Knight Revan is your third fastest tune. Good job there as well. 293 speed. You will make him faster and faster. Shock T is your fourth fastest tune. Oh, I can't speak this morning. 291, okay? So only a couple of tunes over 300 speed. They stop at Rex. All right, so right, so basically, speed, Datacrons, mods. They're super important. You don't even have Datacrons. I'm not sure if you can get them at 2.8 million galactic power. Somebody comment below. All right, so we're just going to go through some factions and just talk about some core. I think his core is super important. All right, let's get out of speed. We'll start off with 5.0 first. Definitely important faction that everyone builds in their grind in the Star Wars Galaxy series. You gotta get it. Gotta get it. It is the Big Bang team behind your Galactic Legend. Now you can also say Darth Malgus nowadays. So, of course, General Skywalker. We're gonna look at him. Four offense, two health, exactly the same build I have. You know, if you can do a defense secondary set, that's good as well. Good job with the protection. Shouldn't be less than 140,000 for offense and for defense. Speed 218. That's the only thing you're having problems with is the speed. He should definitely be faster. You know, how fast? You know, not less than 250. You know, 250, 260 range is kind of like high, medium level of where uh, General Skywalker is at. Just because he's not taking enough turns. And then his counter is deadly. So 10,000, great job. Armor, kind of where you need to be at. Shouldn't be less than 60%. Damage should be less than 10,000. So good job with your mods on General Skywalker. I did look through them. You're just missing some speed in some of the secondaries. Some of those are hard to get rid of, but of course, end game wise, you'll definitely speed them up. So of course, uh, nowadays, I'm gonna do something different with fives. Now on, people aren't gonna R7 Rex unless we don't have to. You know, I will eventually one of these days for my guild, but I've gotta run R5. Most people are just gonna target Rex because we all have our fives modded insanely ridiculous. I have all defense, all six dotted and beyond. Everyone's gonna go for my Rex first. It's gonna trigger the, 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 the sacrifice. So I'm gonna put push him with four offense, two defense, offense primary here, offense primary here, maybe even an offense primary here. Just so I want, I'm, I'm shooting for just offense and speed. Whatever I can get for survivability, of course, is going to be great. You know, protection over health primaries, just because a lot of people use CLS with C3PO. But I want a lot of offense and a lot of speed. That's what's going to make your clones go disgusting and hopefully help get you a hold when your clones are nasty. Now, I'm talking about a lot, a lot of gas, gas, mirror match. You should be facing that at 2.8 million galactic power. You probably are facing that. So, of course, Rex super fast, like how you have them. Echo and Arc Trooper, you have them at all R5. They shouldn't be less than R5, but, you know, up your relic levels accordingly. Echo and Arc Trooper, your damage dealers. Get them super fast with lots of damage. Everyone knows how to mod them. I have a show out for them. All right, let's keep going. So, we're going to look at Bounty Hunters. So, Bounty Hunters, to me, is in a, a must-have build for everyone that's climbing the ranks in Grand Arena because they don't require any Kyrotex and I, I well I think only maybe at relics because like over here on the on the right sides I can't remember but like you know gear 10 gear 11 they don't require any Kyrotex they're not a very hard build and you could be having problems with Darth Revan on defense you could be having problems with Admiral Radis on defense nowadays because of profundity so this team 
to me is a must have team. They don't have to be full relic. My boss is the only one that's like R5. Everyone's like R2, R3, or a sing lead. Grief Karga, Bosk. You don't even have Mandalorian. And then um, Sam Wessel Omicron. Definitely, definitely must have build right here. I'd work on that, Dan, for sure. All right. Let's go look at Empire. Okay. Empire, you've got Darth Vader. How's Darth Vader modded? So basically that you're level 2.8. We're going to talk about Geos in this uh, in this roster review. You're using your Vader for, for bugs. At my level, that's what I use Vader's for. Vader, uh, excuse me, bugs and Night Sisters. Night Sisters always pulled my Vader and my Wat Tam board because of no revives. All right, so you got four critical damage, two potency, perfect. You know, a lot of put, very hard to put offense mods on a lot of tunes. So I do recommend either four critical damage or four uh, offense, two potency. So good job there. Don't care about health protection. Speed, 233. Now, so with the 16 boost, you're at two, 249. Yeah, so a lot of Brute Alphas are going fast in your Darth Vader, so you definitely can't solo bugs. Duo, maybe. So now you have to pull double, triple tune, Sith or Empire. A possibly a full five-man team just to take out bugs, where you should be able to solo bugs or very much uh, duo bugs, or maybe Palpatine lead. Because you need a lot of potency. You got 100%. You get 35% boost from um, Palpatine. My brood had close to 200% tenacity. So that's why we need a lot of potency on Vader. So much resisting. So much tenacity in the game. And then damage, 7,000. Critical damage mods, not too bad. He is R7. So mods wise, what do you want for Vader? You want offense. If it's not the primary, you want offense percentage, potency percentage, speed. So you got speed. Got flat offense, max that offense, no potency. Now, of course, it's very hard to get all these. That's what they, you know, at your level, Dan, be very specific with mods. You know, everyone has the same mod locker. You know, my buddy Nemesis at 11 million Galactic Power, I don't think his mod locker is any, bit, any bigger. I don't know. Does that work when you hire you client? The bigger your locker gets? You have to sell so many mods. You know, I've sold so many crappy mods and I don't have the proper secondaries. So, for like Vader, you know, you want offense percentage. There's no offense percentage near. There's no potency percentage. All right, I don't know if that background music is pretty loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. It's kind of loud in my headset. All right, we'll go down to 15. All right. Okay, you got health here. I don't care about the primary. I want speed, offense percentage, potency percentage. So you can de definitely probably replace that. You should have tons of critical damage mods. I'd probably filter for a better one. In here, great job, potency. It's got offense percentage, it's got speed. Great job, dude, that's a good mod for good potential. Here, should definitely have critical damage. Vader crits a lot. You want critical damage just because you can get offense in the secondary up to like, you know, 5%, 6%, not too hard. So I would look for one that has, you know, good job, it has potency. That tenacity was offense percentage. This would be an amazing mod. Okay, that song is terrible. That is not a lounging song. Speed. So definitely when I talked about speed and like mods, like having proper secondaries is important. So you got speed up here. Very low offense percentage, no potency. You should definitely be able to find one with offense percentage and potency in the secondary. All right. So your Vader is being used for bugs. We'll look at your bugs here in a second. All right. So definitely... Palpatine is your lead with Vader. Probably, probably Vader duo because you don't have uh, Mara Jade yet. Do you recommend Mara Jade and Starkiller? They're amazing as well because they're a super fast team. I'd work on your uh, your Imperial Troopers for sure. Moff Gideon should be with Padme because you have uh, Qui Gon Jinn Omicron. Love the new Thrawn look. All right, let's move on from your Empire. Ewoks, just gotta say hello and show that love. All right, Geonosians. Let's talk about Geos, guys. So a lot of people that are coming up in the game, Geos is like a must-have team. Like a lot of guilds, you know, that are early guilds, you have to have bugs to get Wat Tambor. You know, Wat Tambor is very important to, to achieve in your, um, in your roster as well. So now what do you do with bugs? Everyone's putting them on defense. I have never faced anyone that's used bugs on offense. So, well, I'm probably like 1%. But they're definitely a defensive team. 
So my bugs early on were so disgusting. People would message me in game like, oh my gosh, dude, your bugs are amazing. My Vader solo uh, failed or my duo or my triple failed. You know, it's because how you have to properly mod them. Now, of course, for Grand Arena, that's very important. This is what you want to do. This is what I did. Brute Alpha should definitely be fast enough to where you are not being soloed by Vader. How fast should your Brute Alpha be? How fast are the Vaders in your shard? You should not be duoed by Vader. Or excuse me, not be soloed. If anything, not even be du uh, duoed by Vader. So the base speed for Brute Alpha is basically... Let's say Vader's like 240 in your shard. So you want to count the 16 from himself, the 16 from Palpatine, and whatever that boost is in speed, your Brood Alpha should not be slower than that. My Brood Alpha started off with like 315, 317, something speed like that. He started off with like very close to 200% tenacity. So that causes problems right there. If your opponent does not pay attention, that is a loss. So you do have the right mods for speed to... You do have two tenacity. All right, so it's got tenacity, speed. Great job. Wish that tenacity is a little bit higher. This has a potential to get good. And then here, no tenacity. I would replace this immediately. All his mods, just like how uh, Mara Jade should have four potency, or excuse me, two potency, four speed, and only thing you want in her secondaries are speed and potency. That's what you want to have with Brute Alpha. You know, four speed, two tenacity. All you care about is speed and tenacity in the secondary here uh, speed no tenacity I would definitely get rid of that I'm sure you have tons of mods I can beat that here you want tenacity and of course lots of survivability if you can get it but you want speed here you want survivability you want tenacity you want speed I would dump that immediately and then here no tenacity so get him very fast. Like I said, 232, your Vader is soloing your bugs. The tenacity on your Brood Alpha is not high enough to where he's going to get um, possibly all four dots by Vader. So you definitely want lots of tenacity, lots of speed on Brood Alpha. Remember, he gets a 60 boost from his Queen's Will. All right. So another important thing for my bugs is... I went super heavy uh, survivability and tenacity. I believe my spy had all tenacity mods. So a lot of people have him for offense for four critical damage, but he never takes a turn. Because a lot of people do mod Brood Alpha properly to where he only gets maybe like two dots. But he can still be a ability block by Darth Vader. So of course, the first person that everyone culling blades is Geo Spy. He could have a quadrillion damage and he would never take a turn. So I went all tenacity mods. Survivability here, survivability here, you know, health, protection, defense, even if you can get it here, survivability here. I also went protection. But of course, anytime you're not putting speed in the primary, you should have speed in the secondary because speed is still important in the game. I didn't care because. He can do a lot of damage to Vader if he does take a turn. So I do, of course, keep this critical damage. But of course, when you're doing all tenacity builds on someone who does need to do damage, it's like Chup, you know, Chewbacca. You want critical damage. You want offense percentage, tenacity, and speed if you can get it. You don't want any. You don't want no speed on any tunes. So that's how I recommend Spy. Your Spy is getting one shotted easily. Anyone would see this right here and just one shot him, especially because Tenacity is so low, he would get all the dots by Vader and be the first one to Culling Blade. Then it's kind of over after that. He's going to Billy Block Brood Alpha. So I had super high Tenacity. Like for sure, um, if I didn't have them all Tenacity, I had a Tenacity secondary, um, uh, sec secondary set. And then mostly every single one's cross had a Tenacity maxed out. You want to lessen any kind of debuffs. That's what makes your bugs nasty. And then, of course, Poggle, I wanted a lot of potency. You know, he was the one that basically Vader could take out first because I, 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 I think I had all potency, just like you did as well. So you can see here, 119%. I, th I did have this um, tenacity, but I had potency percentage and speed in the secondary for sure. You could probably find one like that. Because I want Marshall Doom to ability block Vader. So kind of my tips on, on bugs. You know, like I said, if I see a lot of people's videos out there. I've even seen Star Wars Dad fail to bugs. 
Um, I've failed the bugs. Everyone has. Just like I asked my good buddy Jay Trojan, my good buddy Nemesis, to comment you know, when, when they see this point in the video. Jay, you're out there. All these great people that watch my shows. Um, have you lost the bugs? I've lost the bugs several times. And I've even taken full relic hot trash squads, like hot trash prerequisites against bugs, and they still fail. This is still deadly if you don't have something proper to take them out. Just those couple of tweaks with, I'm telling you, everyone, tenacity. People would be like, dude, I couldn't land any dots. I'm telling you, you're not landing dots on my Brute Alpha or my Spy. And then when you can't, it kind of goes to crumble. I only had Sunfact like R3, Spy like R4, Brute Alpha is like R6 or something like that. These were gear 12. My bugs were nasty. They are a great team on defense. I would surprise your opponent. All right. I haven't talked about bugs like that in a while. If you guys want me to do shows on, like, you know, I do enjoy talking about bugs. I mean, everyone builds bugs. You know, you, everyone has bugs. You know, what are you doing with your bugs? Comment down below. How do you mod them? I highly recommend the way I just said. All right. Imperial Troopers should definitely be a. Did we just pass? Oh, we just passed Galactic Republic. We passed Galactic Republic. Okay. We've got to get in there. That's <laughs> a big faction. All right. Let's take a look at your Jedi Master Kenobi. Kind of looking at some of my notes here off to the side, too. All right, you've got four critical damage, two health. So you don't have Cat yet. Those are probably just because you don't have proper mods right now. So you need to prep him. Like, JMK Mirror can be, you know, to me, I've never lost to one of if my cat's faster. My cat's faster than a lot of people out there. As long as my Jedi Master Kenobi is faster. I've, I've never really lost to a JMK Mirror. But, of course, needs to be R8. Um, Lord Vader... You know, Jabba, Jabba, he needs to be modded properly. So we'll talk about the, the Jabba count. That's the, that to me is the hardest one. So you definitely want four speed, two health, just because he should be super fast. So I would get rid of the critical damage just because there's a lot of resisting out there. You know, a lot of critical avoidance. And if he can't be critting, that's not good. I would do four speed, two health. So, of course, when you do that, you want to max out the offense up here. You know, you want health percentage, speed, offense in the secondary. Okay, no offense percentage. He's a damage dealer. 26 speed is great, but there's no offense percentage. Here, protection. Should be health percentage because the protection up that they get during the battle. There's no offense percentage. Here should be critical damage. with op so Be very ca cautious going forward, Dan. You're not at that point where your mods aren't just where you have to sell mods that are all critical damage but no offense percentage because the higher you get just those little tweaks to be able to have offense percentage in here with speed is going to be very very important to your roster up here there is health percentage but there's no offense percentage so stats wise 510 is um it's it's it's, it's good but it's not fast enough dan um I've seen a lot of Jedi Master Kenobis, and yours is probably one of the slowest that I've seen, but not a problem. You know, everyone can work on mods. Just a, just a simple mod tweak. You know, you have critical damage mods. You don't have speed mods. And then, of course, I don't knock anyone because at your level in Carbonite, you know, what are you facing on defense to where this is demolishing anything you put up against it? But just prepare your roster for the higher you climb, especially you could be facing Jabba because people are, you know, trying to get Jabba as their first Galactic Legend. That's insane. So just work on it. Health, great job. You want lots of health. You want lots of speed. You know, critical damage triangle. This is typically where he's at all the time. Offense, a little low. You know, you shouldn't be less than, you know, really 10,500 with Jedi Master Kenobi. Mine's, like, mine's above 11,000. So it's, it's, like I said, for Jedi Master Kenobi mirror matches, that can be a little troublesome. And plus, you don't have Cat, you know, with... Him on defense without Cat is also not good. So don't do that, Dan. Save them for offense. All right, so you got a good gas. All right, let's look at, as far as your Galactic Republic, we're going to look at, let's see. So you got no Cat. You should be having Padme with, so Padme, R2, Ayla, Get Cup at a level 69. That should be no longer be done. That's what number AP gains, no longer. And Moff Gideon. That should be a squad that you're building pretty easily, Dan. This squad is used, you know, even gear 12, gear 11, how you have them, you know, well, of course, you got to get cup seven stars, is beating Inquisitors. It's beating Dartrea, Omicron on defense. Anything that has a super heavy health build, 
is Padme is just destroying it so easily. You know, they're one-shotting tunes because Moff, Moff Gideon gives all Galactic Republic support 20 stacks. It's very hard to get 20 stacks right off the bat on the Padme squad. So that w that's what you should definitely be running. And as far as your Jedi Master Kenobi, you, you should be doing Jedi Master Kenobi, Shock T, Snips, Ayla, and General Kenobi. Your Jedi Anakin, you, you just don't have complete squads. You know, you got to make sure you're completing your core. So you have Qui-Gon Jinn, Jedi Anakin, Mace Window Trio maybe. You know, that's what you use for 3v3, but for 5v5, that can be used for offense. You know, just take out Qui-Gon Jinn and Anakin just goes boom. You know what I mean? So that's a good squad there, but you definitely got to complete your squads. You know, Qui-Gon Jinn, Jedi Anakin, Mace Windu, Luminara, Omicron, if you can spare it, is fantastic. And then Ki-Adi Mundi. You don't have Ki-Adi Mundi, but you have Wat Tambor. So now you need to progress your roster to your guild to where you can get Ki-Adi Mundi shards. You just got to keep growing your roster. I can see you're doing it. So Jedi Anakin, four offense. Keep the four offense. The secondary set, I don't care about. He should be under Qui-Gon Jinn. Okay, so this could be still a Padme build. Could be. Good damage. Not too bad there. Because he does a lot of damage. Don't use speed. With Qui-Gon Jinn, don't use speed mods, Dan. I've, I've tried it so many times. He does not hit as hard. You're looking for straight offense. Critical damage here. With offense percentage in the secondary. I like percentage better than the flat percentage. And then speed. You know, you want to get him very fast. You know, Qui-Gon Jinn might move to your defense. You know, my Jedi Anakin is like 379 speed with the Qui-Gon Jinn and Keanu Moody boost. Very dangerous squad. All right, so you definitely got to complete your squads. Uh, definitely want to do that, finish them off. All right, anything else on my notes for... So is Shock T, you know, because you're behind on Jedi and Galactic Republic, is Shock T leading your clones? Hey, comment there in the comment section, Dan. Let me know. And then let's see here. Let's see, we talked about Qui-Gon Jinn, Anakin. You got zero cam shards. Like I said, everyone's growing their roster. I think with the 1 million galactic power boost that you've done in a year, for I mean, you're very casual, I would say, Dan. Let me know in the comment section. You know, did you take a break off? All right, let's keep going. Okay. We talked about Geonosians. Imperial Troopers is also very important for your roster. <clears throat> the higher you climb, you just need more squads. So, of course, squad building is very important as well. You know, Moff Gideon should not be with your troopers. He should be with uh, with Padme. You'd want to work on range trooper. And then, um, to me, I used um, Stark. Veer, Stark, Piet, Dark Trooper, Range Trooper is an amazing squad. All right. Jedi. You have incomplete Jedi as well. We're going to talk about Jedi Knight Revan. So... I do recommend Jedi Knight Luke. I don't have Jedi Master Luke because I don't I don't have any resistance. I probably never build JML. Maybe one day, but I like Jedi Knight Luke with Jedi Knight Revan. Allows me to use Grandmaster Yoda by Star Killer team. So Jedi Knight Revan, you're gonna keep fast. You know, it came to a point where people were taking speed mods from Jedi Knight Revan. You got him at 293. You're gonna speed him up. You know, he can be used against, like, uh, Admiral Raddus squads to target Admiral Raddus right away, you know, because they get there's some fast teams that are out there, but it's very hard to get him faster than a base speed of 330. Just too many other tunes require so much more speed. But for the JKR, JKL counter, you know, you want him at least 320 speed. You'll probably still try to speed him up. All right. And then, like I said, Jedi Revan, if he could target who he can first, you know, your JKR squad is still pretty quick. But it's just incomplete because of Jolie, Bass LaShawn. So your Jedi Knight Revan, Grandmaster Yoda, which you'll look at. I haven't looked at Grandmaster Yoda in a very long time. Four speed, two health. I'd recommend two crit chance because he does special damage and it's very hard to get it to crit. You want a critical chance secondary set. Health is very fine because he's very squishy as well. This should be... Offense, I understand, because he does special damage. It's very hard to crit. But, of course, I always like critical damage because you can get 5.88 offense in the secondary pretty easily. He's got no speed as well. Speed mods without speed in the secondary are one of the hottest trash mods of all, all of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. You race it currency to upgrade, unless you got it all gold like that. No, because you had to raise it to level 15. All right, let's just take a look. 
Speed 260, you know, with the 45 or the 40 boost that you're getting. You know, he's at 300 speed. Okay, so of course, he doesn't do physical, he does special damage. 10,000 damage. See how the critical chance, critical chance is really low? I like a critical chance secondary set. That way, he can crit a lot harder. I have four critical damage, two critical chance mods. He has uh, Vader's old school mods. All right. Grand Yoda. And then. Since there's no bass, Sean, Joe Lee, Bendo, or old come no uh, old Ben. My my old Ben's old nasty. Um, Jolie's the big key. Now you could be facing JKR on defense. So you know, you know, when I talk about roster reviews, I'm always in a defensive standpoint. If anyone's watched my shows for a long time, just because everything goes on defense. The higher you climb, there's not enough time to build enough Galactic Legends. So you've got to put everything on defense. I do save uh, JKR for offense because I have JKL, though. All right, so but I have put JKR on defense. All right, so Joe Lee Bindo, it's a big, big key to your roster. You know, everyone usually targets Joe, or actually they'll target Grandmaster Yoda first to trigger your savior, and then they'll go full hand on, ham on Joe Lee. Now, of course, when you keep going after Joe Lee, you're just like, man, why is he just not going down? Like, why am I hitting him like a noodle? Because he's modded properly. So, so you have no tenacity. I recommend four tenacity to health. You can also do uh, two tenacity for health. It depends on what kind of secondaries you have. I would filter your mods for health and tenacity mods. This should be critical avoidance. Critical avoidance with health percentage, tenacity, speed in the secondary. You know, this should be health maxed out with tenacity in the secondary with speed. This here, uh, tenacity with health percentage in the secondary. Health should be here. His kit is based off of health. He gets 100% tenacity at the beginning of the battle, and he gets half back as critical avoidance. That's why I recommend the critical avoidance arrow. He also gets critical avoidance from his relics as well. When you're hitting him, you're like you're hitting him like a noodle. You know, he hits like a noodle, but he makes you hit him like a noodle. So that's the key to your JKR squad to me is Joe Lee early on. So you only have 131% ten, uh, tenacity. So basically, my Jolie is very hard to land a critical hit against. He starts off with like 220-something percent tenacity. I have a critical avoidance arrow maxed out. He's like R6. So he's basically, you, you can't critically hit him. So it takes very, very long time to go through a JKR squad. I still have him modded very well. If SLKR is not on defense, I'll pull Hoda away from my JKR team and I'll slip in Joe Lee and just makes them so much better. Joe Lee is a big, big key. You definitely have to relic him. Basil Sean as well. And then old Ben, if you do get Jedi Knight Luke. So definitely need to finish your squads. All right, let's keep going. Quag and Jump Macron, very good job there. All right, let's go look at what's next. Separatist. At your level, you probably could be using Phoenix. No, not even uh, level 82. All right, let's look at Rebels. So you have your gas squad. You know, you want to have a, a great gas squad and a great Rebel squad just because whatever your opponent's putting on defense, especially in Carbonite 1, you can get through it, no problem. You've got Jedi Master Kenobi. If you had Cat, you'd also get through another GL. They put a GL on defense. But kind of like two big bang teams to kind of take out whatever you need to on your opponent's roster. So I definitely want to finish it. You know, the R3, R3, your gas squad's all R5. You should definitely have squads no less than R5. So definitely want to work on them as well. Chupio, the three things on the side, very, very ridiculous. Very hard to do that. But you want to full relic the team as well. Depending on how you're using them, you know, Chewbacca, you want to do, you know, full tenacity build. Great job there. You got full tenacity, all tenacity out. Good job there. Chupio, you want to do four offense, two tenacity. Okay, he's all critical damage. He's your damage dealer, Chupio. He, uh, he assists whenever any rebel, rebel uses any ability. Always remember the faster Han shoots first. CLS, you want to mod him very well. You've got four offense, two tenacity. That's a good build. 267 speed, tenacity is starting at 180%. You'll just slowly keep keep improving your team. You know, don't stop. Wait, get get them really, really good. It's your core is king. Properly modded and relic. All right, separatist. Not too much when we get out of here. 
All right, good job with General Groovy. I saw him earlier. You have modded very well, but I'll do make some couple recommendations. That's too much health over critical damage. That's a lot of health. That's nasty. Speed's a little slower. Just because my mind, uh, I'm facing Star Killer. All right, potency you want a little higher. Their kit's built off of potency. You know, I used to have this potency primary health percentage, speed in the secondary. This I'd recommend critical damage with health percentage, potency, and speed in the secondary. It would make your general grievous just hit so much harder. Finish off B1, make him super fast. You don't have him speed mod. Super fast. He's what keeps your separatists alive. B2, like like Wat Tambor, lots of tenacity, lots of potency. And if you can get speed, totally fine, even though he does get a lot of turn meter. Newt Gunray, work on it as well. Separatist is very important because you could be facing JML squads, Sith Eternal squads on defense, and this is a good squad to take them out. Don't put them on defense if your opponent is a Wampa. You don't have Wampa either, I would highly recommend as well. Sith, your Darth Malak's looking pretty good. I'm trying to hurry just because I don't like going over 35 minutes. Okay, protection, speed. I would just recommend um, speed. You know, when I use a Darth Revan team against uh, Darth Revan, Darth Malak, Darth Revan would never take a turn. Doesn't matter if you have a million, da million damage, I would disintegrate him right away. And the only t only problems it gave was when Darth Malak was fast. If he just sits in the corner, as long as you stay away from AOEs and you don't target him, he won't wake up. And then he'll, he'll be disintegrated and probably only takes one turn. So I like him super fast as well. Basil Sean I used to love with Vader because I don't have Darth Revan and Darth Malak, but she, he's, she's with this team. I like Sith Marauder. So you don't you don't even have a, a complete Darth Revan squad. 3v3, 3v3 you do, but not 5v5. I recommend Sith Marauder and HK over Seth over Set for defense because they're nasty. You have to worry about Sith Marauder and HK Set. Mm, he's not too big of a problem at all. Dartrea Omicron, I recommend. Dartrea, Dar Scion, Dark Nine. This is an amazing, amazing squad you should definitely have. You know, you could use that for bugs as well. Vader could be used for something different. Definitely a great squad as well. All right. So to finish off, good job. For a 1 million more galactic power, Dan, you got Jedi Master Kenobi. You're going to get Cat. You've got uh, the core. You definitely have it. Just want to finish it off. You know, get them reliced, modded properly. What I can always just tell everyone, your core modded very well, proper relics, proper secondaries is key, is king to your roster. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this show, blast that like button. If you can give Dan any tips, definitely put something in the comment section. I love Star Wars Galaxy Heroes banter. All right, guys, until next roster you, Darth Crimchy, signing out.